Tonight Weather 12 forecast. Good morning. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And today will be father approved. Despite the fact that we have some thick fog right now along the south coast, I do expect that to burn off for the most part later this morning. Could we actually have some rain later this week? I appreciate the question. The answer is maybe. We have not had a lot of rain lately. We could actually use some rain, although on this Father's Day, we'll take a dry day. So in terms of the muggy meter, this is what we essentially track to let you know about the comfort level of the atmosphere and all the way through the middle of the week it's going to stay muggy you're going to need that ac and then as we go towards the wednesday thursday time frame the humidity may actually spike up a little bit before dropping a bit towards the end of the week however it's not one of these situations necessarily where we have that nice drop to the more refreshing conditions by the end of the week it may just hedge off a little bit we'll keep you updated as we go throughout the week right now our temperature is already knocking on the door of the 70s up to 67 in providence 60 65 Newport 68 and Westerly and our dew points in the mid to upper 60s. When we get those dew points in the mid to upper 60s, that's when it does feel sticky and that's pretty much the range we're going to stay in through the middle of the week. Breezes right now out of the south at 6 miles an hour in Westerly 5 and Newport 10 on Block Island. These breezes picking up a little bit from the south today and our fog situation along the south coast has not really improved since the last time I looked at this camera. We're socked in with the fog in Narragansett, but we have sunshine in North Situate, so even a few miles make a huge difference with our visibilities today. North Kingstown kind of in between. We have some low clouds and fog, but also some sun trying to get through. High pressure, for the most part, dominating things over the next several days. We have the center of low pressure, which will scrape the outer cape late tonight through tomorrow, bringing in a few extra clouds. As for this afternoon, a slight chance, I mean about a 10% chance of an isolated shower or downpour. I think that stays well to our west for the most part today. Overnight into tomorrow morning, you can see some of those low clouds and fog getting together once again. And then tomorrow afternoon, as we get some breezes coming out of the east of Massachusetts, we may have a few showers also in Bristol County, Massachusetts, out towards the Cape. But again, even that chance is fairly low. At the beach today, upper 70s once we clear out some of that fog. And again, our water temperature right now running in the upper 60s to 70s, depending on where you are in the bay. Speaking of the bay, on the water today, waves around 1 to 2 feet. Visibility poor early and then improving in the afternoon. High tide coming up at 836 this morning. Breezes out of the south today. And because of those sea breezes, the south coast and the upper 70s today, but look at inland spots like Smithfield around 90. In Providence, we'll probably split the difference with high temperatures in the upper 80s. This evening, if you're doing some outdoor dining, again for Father's Day, looking great, still hanging on to the upper 70s. And then in the long term, really our next chance of widespread showers would be late Wednesday into Thursday as a front tries to push through, but even that is iffy. So we're just going to give you a chance of showers late in the week. But I got to tell you, I'd like to actually add a few more raindrops just to make up on this rainfall deficit. But uh, you can see it does get hot, especially on Wednesday. Highs in the upper 80s to low 90s. Now let's go over to sports. Now, Eyewitness Sports with Maury Hirsch-Gordon. 